While the iPhone and its iOS 16 software receive a lot of attention, there's still a lot to be said about the slightly modified version of iOS that runs on all of Apple's tablets. Apple has just released iPad OS 16, the latest version of its iPad OS software, which includes a slew of new features. Here's everything you don't know about iPad OS 16 Stage Manager. Stage Manager With iPad OS 16 for M1 iPads and Mac OS Ventura, Apple introduces the new Stage Manager feature to make task focusing and switching between apps and Windows easier and faster than ever. Apple's summary of iPad OS 16 Stage Manager, which appears to be a new flagship feature for M1 iPads and Macs in iPad OS 16 and Mac OS Ventura, Stage Manager is a very important new feature for their users that they believe they'd find very useful. So we're adding a new display scaling setting, which allows you to increase the pixel density of the display so you can view more in your apps, which is particularly helpful when using split view. If you're already considering using it, stick around as we go into how you can activate it and start using this productivity feature. How it works. Stage Manager organizes open apps and windows automatically, allowing users to focus on their work while seeing everything at a glance. Users can quickly and easily switch between tasks because the current window in which they were working is prominently displayed in the center, and other open windows appear on the left-hand side. When working on specific tasks or projects that require different apps, users can group windows together. Why did the blonde throw her iPad into the ocean? So she could get it to sync. The iPad OS 16 Stage Manager now works with other Mac OS windowing tools like Mission Control and Spaces, allowing users to access their desktop with a single tap. Increasing the number of apps on the screen from 3 to 4 may not appear to be a significant improvement, but the iPad OS 16 Stage Manager is much more than just the foreground apps. On a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, there are 4 app stacks and your main active apps are visible for a total of 16 apps visible on the iPad. When connected to a 27-inch studio display, the iPad can run 8 active apps, 4 on each display. On the other hand, the available app stacks on the side range from 4 to 9, implying that up to 44 apps can be visible and accessible at any given time. How the Stage Manager on iPad works in iPad OS 16 Turning on Stage Manager on iPad On an M1 iPad running iPad OS 16, open Control Center. To access Control Center, either swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen or tap there. There are three small square icons toward the bottom right corner of the screen that represent Stage Manager. It can strike at any time! There is an explanation and a large blue button titled Turn on Stage Manager on the splash screen that is shown when you first activate Stage Manager. Since we're talking of turning things on, why don't you turn on post notifications on our channel? Oh, you can't do that with subscribing. So don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Stage Manager may be turned on and off with a single tap in Control Center after the first time it is turned on. Stage Manager is automatically added to Control Center on Stage Manager iPads, but you can reorder it by going to Settings and then to Control Center. What's a Window Manager if you can't resize the window you're using, right? We'll teach you all that, but you'll have to watch till we get there. Don't go anywhere. Setting apps on Stage Manager iPads Alternatively, you can select a home screen with a docking station. Select Stage Manager from the Home and Multitasking displays. Choose Use Stage Manager from the iPads menu. You have the option of selecting or removing the most recent apps from the list. Finally, decide if you want to remove Dock from the list. For quick access to your current apps, Stage Manager displays them in a strip on the left side of your iPad screen in the current iPad OS 16 betas. Apps occupy a larger portion of the screen when recent apps or the dock are hidden. Not a clue. It's totally hidden. Turning off Stage Manager. Stage Manager in iPad OS 16 can be disabled at any time via the Settings app or Control Center. The simplest method, however, is to use Control Center. To achieve this, Swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to open Control Center, and then deactivate Stage Manager by tapping the Stage Manager icon. Resizing apps using Stage Manager The ability to resize apps on the screen is available in both Stage Manager and iPad OS 16. 
A messy iPad screen can be neatly organized with this. Resizing an app and stage manager is a breeze. The bottom right indicator on the current app screen can be pressed and helped. You can use your fingers or the mouse cursor to change the size of a window. App grouping and ungrouping. You probably have a slew of apps active on your iPad at any given time. This is made possible by using the Stage Manager in iPad OS 16 to organize apps. To do this, follow these steps. Activate the first app you want to group. Alternatively, you can use the dock to choose the second app and then drag it to the main screen. If you decide you no longer require any of the group apps, you can easily delete them from your iPad using the Stage Manager iPad. Select the app you want to remove from the group. Tap the three horizontal dots in the app's top center. Remove the app from the collection by tapping the final icon on the list, which is the one with a dash. Thank you for spending yet another fun time with us, learning new things in technology. Your thirst for content is probably skyrocketing after learning so much in this video. Why not stick around for another? Yes, you definitely watch our similar cover of the Pixel Watch, which is Google's smartwatch that's rumored to come out very soon. You can watch it here. Pixel Watch Review. We'll see you in our next video.